Hi, I'm George Leverett of Alter Wind Music. I have with me one of our Aquitaine model hurdy-gurdies. I'm going to talk about some of the features included on it, although these features are common to all of our instruments. Um, this just happened to be the one that I had handy so I could grab it for the video. First thing I'd, I'd like to mention, if you're new to hurdy-gurdies, sound is produced by the wheel rotating against the strings to create vibration in the strings and thus create music. You turn the wheel by means of cranking the handle here. The handle on our hurdy-gurdies is removable. What that means, if you just kind of brace the wheel just a little bit, grab it by its sides and spin backwards, the handle comes right off. That way you could tuck it inside one of the pockets of its included carrying case so it doesn't get bent up while you're traveling. I'll just thread it back on here. Uh, each string on our instruments can be turned on or off independently of all the other strings. So you see I have some switches which facilitate that. I'll start with the melody strings. The melody strings change pitch when I press the button. Well, I have a rotating switch here. One position, let me turn off my other strings. One position has the melody strings on. Then I could turn them off just that easily. There we go. I also have positions for where I could turn each string on or off independently of the other one. That helps for tuning. I have similar switches for the drone strings, which turn on my low drones. You will hear them uh, engage. Here goes one of them. Then for the second one. Then finally the trumpet. What about the trumpet string? It's got a buzzing bridge attached to it, or a loose bridge. You see I just removed it from the instrument. The reason that's loose is so that whenever I jerk my cranking hand, you'll hear a little buzzing sound. You can get almost any rhythm you want just by how adept you are at flicking your wrist. Attached to the trumpet string, I have a drone capo. You'll hear it change pitch when I engage it. It's just that easy to change the key of the instrument. We also have capos for the melody strings. In this particular example, my melody strings are tuned to G notes, but let's say that I really need them to be A notes for the song. Well, I have a locking mechanism here. Now they're A notes. I can disengage it just as easily. You'll hear my melody strings drop back to the regular G. Other features include sympathetic strings, geared tuners or standard for ease of tuning, uh, metal tangents, and too many other features to name here, but in any case, hopefully this will give you a fair idea of what our instrument's about. Be sure to check out our website for more information.